Hello students of standard 10. Welcome to the e-learning classes of DAV Moil Public School subject Science. Our today's topic is Respiration. We have discussed nutrition in organisms in the previous video. The food material taken is during the process of nutrition is used in cells to provide energy for various life processes. Diversion organisms do this in different ways. Some use oxygen to break down glucose completely into carbon dioxide and water. Some use other parts that do not involve oxygen. In all cases, the first step is the breakdown of glucose, a 6 carbon molecule into a 3 carbon molecule called pyruvate. This process takes place in the cytoplasm. Further, the pyruvate may be converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide. This process takes place in yeast during fermentation. Since this process takes place in the absence of oxygen, it is called anaerobic respiration. Breakdown of pyruvate using oxygen takes place in the mitochondria. This process breaks up the three carbon pyruvate molecules to the given three molecules of carbon dioxide. The other product is waste since which process takes place in the presence of air. It is called aerobic respiration. The release of oxygen in the aerobic process is a lot greater than in the anaerobic process. Sometimes when there is a lack of oxygen in our muscle cells, another pathway for the breakdown of pyruvate is taken. Here, the pyruvate is converted into lactic acid, which is also a 3 carbon molecule. This buildup of lactic acid in our muscle during sudden acidity or activity causes cramps. The energy released during cellular respiration is immediately used to synthesize a molecule called ATP, which is used to fuel all other activities in the cell. In this process, ATP is broken down, given rise to a fixed amount of energy which can drive the endothermic reaction taking place in the cell. So what is meant by ATP? ATP is the energy currency for most cellular processes. The energy released during the process of respiration is used to make an ATP molecule from ADP and inorganic phosphate that is shown in the given image that is ADP plus IP, it converts the presence of energy that is ADP and IP combines to form ATP. P stands for phosphate group. Like just like that endothermic process in the cell then use this ATP to drive the reactions. When the terminal phosphate linkage in ATP is broken using water, the energy equivalent to 30.5 kilojoule per molecule is released. Now you can think of how a battery can provide energy for many different kind of uses. It can be used to obtain mechanical energy, light energy, electrical energy and so on. Similarly, ATP can be used in the cell for the construction of muscles, protein synthesis, conduction of nervous impulses and many other activities. Since the aerobic respiration pathway depends on oxygen, aerobic organisms need to ensure that there is sufficient intake of oxygen. We have seen that plants exchange gases through stomata and the large have seen that plant exchange gases through stomata and the large inner cellular space ensures that all cells are in contact with air. Carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged by diffusion here they can go into cell or away from them and out into the air. The direction of diffusion depends upon the environmental conditions and the requirement of the plant. At night, when there is no photosynthesis occurring, CO2 eliminates in the major exchange activities ongoing during a day. CO2 generates during respiration is used for, uh, for the photosynthesis. Hence, there is no CO2 release, instead O2 released in the major events at this time. Animals have evolved different organs for the uptake of oxygen. 
from the environment and for heating rid of the carbon dioxide produces. Terrestrial animals can breathe the oxygen in the atmosphere, but animals that live in water need to use the oxygen dissolving water. Since the amount of dissolved oxygen is fairly low compared to the amount of oxygen in the air, the rate of breathing in aquatic animal is much faster than the, it seems in terrestrial organisms. Fishes take in water through their mouth and force it past the gills where the dissolved oxygen is taken up by the blood. Terrestrial organisms use the organs in the atmosphere for respiration. This oxygen is absorbed by different organs in different animals. All the animals have a structure that increases the surface area which is in contact with the oxygen this atmosphere. Since the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide has to take place across this surface, this surface is very fine and delicate. In order to protect this surface, it is usually placed within the body. So there have a passage that will take air into this area. In addition, there is a mechanism for moving the air in and out of this area where the oxygen is absorbed. In human beings, air is taken into the body through the nostril. This air passing through the nostril is filtered by fine hairs that line the passages. The passage is also lined with the muscular or mucus which helps in the process from where the air passes through the throat and into the lungs. Rings of cartilage are present in the throat. These ensure that the air passage does not collapse within the lungs. The passage divides into smaller and smaller tubes and finally terminates in balloon-like structure which are called alveoli. The alveoli provide a surface where the exchange of gases can take place. The walls of the alveoli or the walls of the alveoli contain an extensive network of blood vessels as we have seen in earlier years. When we breathe in, we lift our ribs and flatten our diaphragm and the chest cavity becomes large as a result because of this air is shoved into the lungs and filled in the expanded alveoli. The blood brings carbon dioxide from the rest of the body for release into the alveoli and the oxygen in the alveoli air is taken up by the blood in the alveolar blood vessels to be transported to all the cells in the body during the breathing cycle when air is taken in and let out. The lung always contains a residual volume of air so that there is sufficient time for oxygen to be absorbed and for the carbon dioxide to be released. When the body size of animal is large, the diffusion pressure alone cannot take care of oxygen delivery to all parts of the body. Instead, respiratory pigment take up oxygen from the air in the lungs and carry it to tissues which are different in oxygen before release it. In human beings, the respiratory pigment is hemoglobin which has a very high affinity for lungs. This pigment is present in the blood corpuscles. Carbon dioxide is more soluble in water than oxygen is and hence in mostly transported in the dissolved form in our body. Now it's time to check your knowledge about today's topic. Here are some questions as your assignment. I hope you understand today's topic. We again meet with new video. Till then, stay at home, be safe, be happy.